In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome text effect and that is right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into the video. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Brooker Films. And yes, we are talking all about this really awesome text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. And all you really need for this is After Effects. So once you're on the computer and you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we'll select new composition and we want to make sure that the width is 1920, the height is 1080. We have a pixel aspect ratio of square pixels. The frame rate is 23.976. This is the frame rate of the project. And then you want to set the start time code to zero and the duration to around 10 seconds. And then we'll press okay. Now, from here, you want to create a brand new title layer. So you want to create brand new text. And in order to do this, we want to press the T icon in After Effects. So press the T icon, select anywhere in the canvas and just click there. And we'll just type out a word. So I'm just going to type out the word Brooker. That is my last name. We'll hold Command and A. We'll go over to the red box over here. This might be a different color. And then I'm just going to change this from red to white. So I'm just going to drag that over to the top left and we'll press OK. Now I'm going to press the selection tool and I'm going to press A on the keyboard to load up the anchor point. Now the anchor point is the point on the object where the object animates from. So if the anchor point is in the very center of an object, when you rotate it, it will rotate around the anchor point. Let me show you this notebook, for example. If the anchor point was on this corner of the notebook, if I was to rotate this, it would animate like this. Whereas if the anchor point was in the very center, it would animate around the center and create a nice smooth rotating effect. So we need to go ahead and we need to change the anchor point of the title. As you can see, it's currently on the bottom. So if we were to animate this, it would do something like this, which is ugly. So press A on the keyboard to load up anchor point and we'll just pull this down so that it's in the very center of the text. Now we'll go to the choose grid and guidelines box and we'll select proportional grid. Then we'll just center this up in the very middle. Now we'll go to the drop down arrow on the text. We'll go into text. We'll go to animate and you want to select tracking. Now in tracking, you want to make sure that the cursor head is at the very beginning and create a brand new keyframe on tracking amount. Now we'll go forward a few seconds. So we'll go two seconds forward and I'm just going to increase the tracking amount all the way up to around 100%. And if we play this back, we have this really awesome spacing effect happening. Of course, though, that is a little too fast and a little too intense. So I'm going to decrease the number of the second keyframe. So I'll pull this down to around 50 and we'll change the duration of this. So we'll make this effect longer. So we'll pull the second keyframe over to the right to around five seconds. So now that effect will animate over five seconds rather than two seconds. And as you can see, that's starting to look really awesome. Of course, though, we can take that one step further by adding another layer of animation to this title. And as well as the tracking, I'm going to increase the scale over time. So we're going to press S on the keyboard. And I'm going to create a brand new keyframe at the point that the last keyframe was made. So I'm going to press S on the keyboard, create a brand new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch. We'll go to the very beginning and we'll decrease the scale to around 80, 80%. 80 and if we play this back, that should animate over time. So the scale is increasing and the tracking between each character is also increasing. And of course, if you wanted to add a little bit of character to the movement, then all you need to do is select all of those keyframes that we just created. So I'm going to make sure everything is open. Select all of those keyframes. We're going to right click on one of those keyframes, go to keyframe assistant, and we'll select easy ease. That will basically smooth out the motion in between each keyframe. So rather than just suddenly starting, and then slowly stopping at each keyframe, it's going to slowly ease out of the one keyframe and slowly ease into the next keyframe. It's a lot nicer and a lot less jarring. And there you go. That is how you bring your title to life by adding scale and tracking animation effects right inside of Adobe After Effects. So if you found this video useful at all, or if you feel like you learned something, then please do help me out by pressing that subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.